The ultimate goal of uh, cap and trade is to reduce harmful greenhouse gas emissions, not to generate revenue. However, wisely investing the funds that do come from cap and trade can provide avenues that will help us meet California's ambitious emissions reduction goals. The bills being signed today embody the aggressive and responsible approach that we are taking in spending cap and trade funds. In the assembly, we, we wanted to ensure that the spending levels was prudent. The spending levels were prudent, and we wanted to ensure that Californians in underserved communities such as these, which are most impacted by air quality programs, receive the greatest benefit. The assembly also wanted to ensure that rural communities, including those in the Central Valley, will benefit from cap and trade investments along with urban areas. Yay. <laughs> including funding for projects like transformative climate communities where we go into a community, make deep investments over multiple projects including transit, weatherization, and green space expansion is vital to those efforts. Transformative climate communities will show the cum cumulative benefit that can occur when we work to protect the environment and improve public health at the same time. Fresno is the perfect place to benefit from the transformative climate community program. Fresno and other Valley communities will benefit from other cap-and-trade investments that will reduce truck emissions, help people swap polluting cars for cleaner ones, and help lower-income Californians benefit from increased energy efficiency. I would especially like to recognize the San Joaquin Air Pollution Control District and its partner, Valley Clean Air Now. They're here somewhere. for both demonstrating a truly effective program to help lower income Valley residents into cleaner cars, providing a model for us to use around the state when funding programs with cap and, uh, using funding programs for cap and trade dollars. And also a special thank you to Assemblymember Autumn Burke for authoring this important bill. And a thank you again to Assemblymember Joaquin Arambula for the leadership he showed in shaping this legislation to ensure it benefits the Valley and other highly impacted areas. These bills help achieve the progressive and prudent goals we set out to achieve.